So for you and me, our identity is Ali. I mean, you can't, you just cannot think tonight, maybe for some of you tonight, for some of you tomorrow night, but it's all about Imam Ali. Now there are loads of ayat in the Quran, but today I've just picked a few. So every time you think of Imam Ali, you're going to think of these ayat. Okay, and the first one is 2207. So what I would do, and I talk about journaling, and I tell you how I do journaling. That means you will go to page, or rather not page, to Surah 2, Ayah 207, and you will use a pencil color or a highlighter, and you will highlight that Ayah. I don't know how to show it to you, but you can't see it normally, because let me try and put this light up and see if that works. I don't know whether you can see, but um, there. That's the one in orange. So it's highlighted there. It's colored there. So you will color it. And near there, you will draw a bed. If you can't draw a bed, you will write hijrah, whatever you want to do. Look what Allah says. And from human beings, there is he who sold his nafs for one reason, only for the pleasure of Allah. Wallahu ra'ufun bil ibad. Oh my goodness, I love this. And Allah is ra'uf. Ra'uf is somebody who knows your who knows your anxiety, who knows your pain, who knows your grief. That is ra'uf. As just something else. You'll find it in Surah 9 when it talks about the Prophet. But here, this is when the Prophet leaves for Hijrah to go to Medina. And there is Imam Ali who sleeps in his bed. And that's the image that you've got there. If I were you, I would just take a snapshot in my head of this image. Um, in the olden days, they used to call it the Kodak moment. So this is a Kodak moment, okay? There is the prophet going for hijrah, knowing that they're going to kill him. Imam Ali knows that too, but he sleeps in the prophet's bed. And everybody from each of the tribes of the Quraysh, they said that nobody can blame us if there's one each of the tribe who will come and kill him. So with their daggers, they're coming to this bed. Just imagine, the, the imagine what Imam Ali might have felt. Yet he said that was his best sleep, right? I had 207, surah number two, it's up there on your screen. He said that was his best sleep. And when they pulled off the covers, they see Imam Ali. There was no guarantee they were going to pull off the covers. There was no guarantee that they were not just, just not going to stab him while he was covered up. But can you just imagine? This is Ali. So I put Ali near there. I write Ali near there. And for me, when I then when I'm reading my Quran and I come to that eye, oh my God, I smile like the biggest smile of all. So this is your ayah 207, surah number two. It is just something else. Right, the next ayah we're going to highlight, and I love this one, 555, okay? You can't forget it, 555. So in my Quran, near 555, and I'm turning to it, so I, I don't know, I, don't, I think it's a bit difficult for me to show you. Maybe next week I'll just take a snapshot of how I've done it. I've drawn a ring like that, like you see on the screen. On the red ruby, because it was a ruby ring, I've written 555. And in the circle, just as you can see there, I've put a person in record. And that is Ali. There's, there's, this is known as Ayatul Wilaya. I hope you can remember that. Okay, so it's known as Ayatul Wilaya. Why? Because he says, Innama wali yukum. Who is your wali? He says, definitely. Innama, I told you, was something you cannot, you just cannot deny. I, by the way, I have highlighted this eye in red. So I took a red pencil color and I've highlighted the ayah. Innama wali yukum. Indeed, your wali. Wali is somebody you're inclined towards. If you have a plant in a dark room and there's a window and the plant inclines itself towards the window, the window is the wali of the plant. Innama waliyukum, who should you incline towards? And why does the plant incline towards sunshine? Because it needs it to thrive, to survive. So if you want to survive, you will incline towards Allah. So we know that. Warasuluhu and his messenger and those who believe. So you say, well, who? Everybody who believes? He said, no. Alladina, those who. Yukimuna salata, who establish salah. Wa yu'tuna zakata wa hum raqi'un. And they give zakah while they are in ruku. Wonderful story of that beggar coming into the mosque of the Prophet. Everybody's praying. He's saying, please help me. I don't have anything. I don't have any food. They're all praying. 
And Imam Ali in Ruku moves his finger, extends his finger where his ring is, and the beggar takes that ring. And that is in, that's just encapsulated in 555. It's just something else. Okay. So 555, Ayatul Gulaya. Yeah, this is Imam Ali. Next one, 567. Oh, come on, everybody knows this. Five, six, seven. And we all listen to it. Normally in Ghadir, we're, we're all there. We all know this, um, the, uh, the ayah of Tabligh, as it, such it's called. Ya yeah, Yuhar Rasul, our messenger. Balik, tell them. Do Tabligh. Of what? What has been revealed to you from your Rabb? Wa illam tafal. If you don't do it, fama balagta risalatu. It's like you have done nothing. You haven't done any Tabligh. All your 223 years, you've done nothing. And if you're scared, Allah will protect you from people. Allah does not guide your people who cover up the truth. And that was revealed on the way back from the last Hajj. You all know this. They stopped at Ghadir because of this ayah. The Prophet makes the uh, stage with the saddles of everybody who's there. And there's a whole sermon of Ghadir. But the crux of it is, holds Imam Ali, holds his hand out. You could see the whiteness of their armpits. And he says, Man kuntu mawlahu, ali mawlahu. And as soon as he finishes, this is the last part of Ayah 3 of Surah number 5, when he says, and this is known as Ayatul Ikmal, to perfect something. It's perfection, you know. Al-yawma akmaltu lakum dinakum. Today we have perfected your religion for you. Why? Because of Ali. Because of the announcement of Imam Ali as your wali. So we have perfected your religion for you. We have complete. There's a difference between perfection and complete. We completed our ni'mah, but we perfected your religion. And I am happy for to choose your way of life as Islam. Deen is, it comes from being debt what you exchange for your life, what your life means. And he says, what are they to Islam Adina? It's just amazing. So four ayat that you need to remember and highlight, 2207, 555, 567, and 53. So if I were to use any of those numbers, you would know. If you say Ali, those four should come into your head. And that's basically what journaling is about. It's about knowing things, putting things together, and as we go along, you hopefully, inshallah, and if God gives us life, then your Quran will be full of these different things. And it'll just be awesome. At least I think so.